Hi, this is my Axial SCX24 with the Chevy C10 body. Out of the box it performs quite well, but you can make it even more capable with these few simple mods. Number 1. Body Cutting Even if the C10 has smallest tires of all the SCX24 models, the wheels still collide with the fenders during ride. You can eliminate this, or at least minimize, by trimming fenders of 2 or 3 mm. It's quite easy and can be done using an ordinary nail scissors. It would be great if the scissors blade was curved and the scissors itself were made of strong steel, because the material of the car body is quite strong. Number 2. A suspension. This trick is the most common one, but still very useful. Out of the box the car body bounces a lot because there is no oil in the shocks and you cannot add any without extra sealing. However, you can use a small amount of grease, for example the PM600 military grease, which is my favorite, but basically any other grease which can resist the temperature differences should do the job. Just remember to not use too much, because the springs in shocks are rather soft and could stop working dynamically. Number 3. Extra weight. You can do it in many ways, like adding brass differential covers or make your own weights for axials. But this time I suggest to use the wheel's weight, which you can buy cheaply on AliExpress. This set costs only a few dollars, weighs about 26 grams and it's quite easy to install. You only need a 1 4mm wrench and there is an extra benefit of using them. It will increase the track about 3 mm, which is great for the stability of the car. Number 4. The front bumper. Not only the C10 wheels are the smallest of all the Axial SCX24 models, but also a front bumper is the lowest one. This affects the climbing capability very badly. I try to move this bumper somehow or replace it with a different model, but finally I found that removing it completely is a better solution. You need to remove only two small screws and it's done. Well, not exactly, because you still need to cut the corners of the car body. But you should already have some experience after trimming fenders, so it will be a piece of cake. And I promise, it will make a huge difference. Number 5. Lights. Ok, so you have just removed your front bumper, but what about lights? Fortunately, in the C10, there is a second place for mounting the lights just under the hood, right here. And if you are more lucky than me, or just have a better skills, you can move the bumper lights to the front grille without damaging the stickers. However, the original cable is rather short, so you have to extend it if you plan to use the lights. Instead of using an ordinary cable, I suggest to buy an LED controller or the RC switch. I will put the link to the controller I use below this video. It's very cheap and easy to mount without any tools. You simply put the BLS plug into the ESC auxiliary port and then connect two pins with the lights plug. There is also a second pair of pins if you want to connect a real lights also. Now just mount your LED controller with a clamp and it's done. You can enjoy controlling your lights remotely. There is no need to attach the controller's cable to the chassis, because it does not collide with other parts. However, if you want to fully open the car body, you will have to unplug the controller from the ESC. But this is the only disadvantage I found. That's all modifications for today, but do not leave the video yet, because I have a bonus info. And no, this is not a sponsored video, I bought this stuff with my own money. So, I mentioned that installation of the parts is quite easy, especially when you have proper tools. And I've been searching for some time for a good set of tools, and here it is. Jakemai or Jakimi JM8150. It's affordable, well made, and contains 54 elements dedicated especially for the RC vehicles. So, if you are searching for a good tools, I think this could be your choice. By the way, if you want me to make a video about this toolset, please let me know in comments. And do not forget to subscribe. Have a great day and see you in my next video.